Hello friends, this video on exponents and powers part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will see that how we represent these larger numbers in standard form. Now this is what we were looking at in this lesson. You remember in the first slide I told you that this entire component, uh, the concept of exponent will help our representation of larger numbers easier. So now we will see how exactly we make these representations easier. So the first question that needs to be answered is what do we mean by standard form of representation? So any number which is expressed as a decimal number between 1 and 10 multiplied by a power of 10. So let me give you an example that will help you understand better. So let's say that you have a number 24,000. So what are the different ways by which you can represent this number in exponential form? That means you, you will express the same number with something like a number multiplied by 10 to the power something. So see there are many ways of doing this. So one way is you can write it as 24 into 10 to the power 3. So that is one way. Another way is you can write it as 240 into 10 to the power 2. That is also one way. Another way of writing the same number could be something like this. Now let's say that if we further want to reduce this number. Now looking at these two what do you see? When you increase this number the power of 10 reduces right. Similarly when you decrease this number the power of 10 increases and we have learned in the previous slide that as we move towards right as we move towards right what happens? The value of the power decreases right. So in this case if you see now in the given number, where is the decimal point? The decimal point is located here because 24,000.00. So the point is located here. Now the moment we have written it as 24. So 24 means we have shifted this decimal point 1, 2, 3 jumps. We have made 3 jumps and shifted the decimal point here. So we are basically moving towards right. So when you move towards right, what will happen to the power? So the power would increase. So you see in this case the power was 24,000 into 10 to the power 0. So with that 0 you add up 3 because you are taking 3 jumps in this case. And that is how you are writing it as 24 into 10 to the power 3. Similarly in this case what you are doing? You are just taking 2 jumps. 1, 2. So you are putting the decimal point here that is 240.00. So 240 into 10 to the power 2 because you are just taking 2 jumps. Now let's say that if you want to take one more jump. Now in case you want this decimal point to shift here in between 2 and 4. So you want to write it as 2.4. Then what will happen to the power? The power would increase further. Right? So the power would become 10 to the power 4. Now let's say that if you want to move the decimal point even further somewhere here. So that means you want to make it as 0.24. Then what will happen to the power? The power would increase all the more it becomes 10 to the power 5. So you see all of these are representation of the same number. All of these has an exponential format. But which one is standard form? So standard form is that number which is expressed as a number between 1 and 10. So do you think 24 is a number between 1 and 10? No. So this is not the standard form. Do you think 240 is a number between 1 and 10? No. So this is also not a standard form. Do you think 2.4 is a number between 1 and 10? Yes. So this could be the standard form. What about this one? 0.24 is less than 1. So this is also not the standard form. So standard form is this one because here you are expressing it as a decimal number which is located between 1 and 10 and multiplied by a power of 10. So multiplied by 4th power of 10. So this is the standard form of representation of 24,000. Now 24,000 is a comparatively smaller number. Therefore you might feel that what is the use of writing 24,000 as 2.4 into 10 to the power 4. But sometimes we actually come across very large numbers. Now let us take a, a little larger number. So here you have 12 lakhs. Now instead of writing 5 zeros, don't you think that it would be more convenient if you write it in standard form? So what would be the standard form? So right now where is the decimal point? 
the decimal point is at the end so we will have to shift this decimal point where not here so you have to take all these jumps do you think you will shift the decimal point here in that case the number this number would be 12 but 12 doesn't lie between 1 and 10 so you actually need to move the decimal point here that means what would be your number 1.2 into 10 to the power how many jumps 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 jumps so 1.2 into 10 to the power 6 so this is the standard form so now you tell me which is more convenient writing 5 zeros after 12 or writing 1.4 1.2 into 10 to the power 6 definitely this is a better option do you know why because somebody who reads it sometimes what happens when you are looking at five consecutive zeros you might have seen it mis by mistake you would have seen it as four zeros so you might be thinking it is 1 lakh 20 thousand but actually it is 12 lakhs so those kind of confusion might be there. So it is always better to write it in the standard form so that you see it clean. Let us take one more example. So this is a bigger number. So here again what we do, this is the decimal point and where will you shift the decimal point? So it need to take these many jumps. So if you put it, put the decimal point here, your number would be 159.6, which doesn't lie between 1 and 10. If you put the decimal point here, the number would be 15.96, which again doesn't lie between 1 and 10. If you put your decimal point here, the number would be 1.596. So 1.596, yes, it lies between 1 and 10. So therefore, your number would be 1.596 multiplied by 10 to the power. How many jumps? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 10 to the power 8. So 1.596 into 10 to the power 8 would be the standard form. So let us try to relate it to a real life example. I was telling you right that in, in our day to day life there are certain numbers which are so huge that it is very difficult to represent them with the original number. So one such example is the mass of the earth. If I ask you the exact mass of the earth in kilograms this is the mass of the earth as you see on the screen. It is even difficult to count the number of zeros in this case right. So how do we represent this in standard form? So in this case, we do not have any choice. We need to count the number of zeros. And when we count the number of zeros, we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So there are 21 zeros. So that means this number is basically 5972 into 10 to the power 29, 21 kg. So this is the mass of the earth. But is it in standard form? No, this is also not in standard form because for standard form, this number should be a number which lies between 1 and 10. So right now the decimal point is here. You need to move the decimal point to this place so that it becomes 5.972 multiplied by now you are moving towards the right. So this value should increase. So by how many jumps? 1, 2, 3. So therefore this should also increase by 3. So in standard form it would be 5.972 into 10 to the power 24 kgs. Now you tell me which is more convenient or which is more easy, which is easier to represent 5.972 into 10 to the power 24 kg or this which is easier definitely this one. Right. So with this, we see that it is very, very easy to represent bigger numbers in the standard form using the concept of exponents. So one simple tip that I would like to give you in whenever you are trying to uh, uh, represent a big number in its standard form. All you need to do is move the decimal point towards left by n jumps that is you count the number of jumps like I was doing right and then what you do whatever is the number of jumps add that number to the existing exponent of 10 that means in this case for example let, let me take this example so earlier it was 5972 into 10 to the power 21 so the decimal point was here so let us take jumps towards the right Towards the left, so we have taken how many jumps? We have taken three jumps. 
right so what happens you get 5.972 after three jumps therefore this would be the existing exponent is 21 to 21 you add 3 because you had taken three jumps to be there so you get it as 5.972 into 10 to the power 24 and trust me this logic works for all the numbers it, it's like a universal tip it will work for all the numbers so just try it out with a couple of numbers and you will see it for yourself that it is very very easy to uh, represent numbers in standard form. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.